What's up everybody, it's Critical. Today I was googling shit just trying to learn some new things and I came across this wiki how article on how to stop children from masturbating in public. I don't have a kid or anything but I still thought this was valuable information so I figured we could all learn here today together. Who knows, this might even be the origin story to the next big superhero, the fucking new X-Men member. The Masturbinator, the only man capable of stopping children from jerking it in Toys R Us. Yeah, you know, the newest member of the Avengers, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and just read this article here and figure out how we can stop this from happening. Step 1. Allow your child some privacy and independence. Everyone needs time alone, children included, and this kind of private time is when masturbation is generally appropriate. However, if they decide to masturbate right in front of you, see next step. What is next step? Put them up for adoption? That's some fucking nefarious shit right there if your kid just starts masturbating in front of you just at the dinner table. Hold on a second, mom. Yeah, this is some great mashed potatoes. Just stands up and starts beating his meat. Yeah, what's up, dad? How was work today? Some weird shit. How often does that happen? I can't imagine that it happens so often that they have a second step ready. I can't wait to see what it is. Step two. Prepare to have a discussion with your child. Don't confront them harshly or in a way that might make them close up or be ashamed of their actions. If they're very young, it's likely they don't realize what they're doing or what sexual implications it has. So being understanding and gentle is key to how they'll view their sexuality in the future. Well, this doesn't cover the fucking emergency protocol needed for when my kid starts rubbing his magic lamp in front of me. This is just some general parenting tips. Don't blow things out of proportion. Alright. Well, I was overhyped from step one. Step three. Pick your timing carefully. For younger children, it'll feel most relevant to them if you bring it up when they're actually starting to masturbate. If you wait until later, they might not remember or realize what they were doing. However, with older children, picking a quiet and appropriate time is key, so bring it up when you both have time to talk about it. I really like this picture they have here to represent this step. The father's contemplating bringing up the subject now, but his son looks absolutely miserable. Uh, you know, Stuart's dog ran away today and he's just feeling really down in the dumps, but I think now's the ideal time for the birds, bees, and beating of meat talk. Step 4. Explain to them that there's nothing wrong with exploring their private areas. I like that title right there. It was actually my favorite episode of the Magic School Bus. Miss Frizzle teaches the kids that there's nothing wrong with exploring their genitals. The actions that they're actually taking aren't a problem, just the location. Let them know that it's not appropriate to expose or touch their private parts in public or around other people, so a private setting is a good idea. That mother looks like she's very angry at her son, but her son's giving her a very strange look like he's jerking off under the table during this. Step 5. Give them options. Rather than focusing on what they shouldn't do, turn the discussion to what they can do. Explain to them that, if they choose to masturbate, they can do so in a private area, such as in a bedroom or bathroom. This is a great picture for this one. The father's patting his son on the back, son, you're finally becoming a man. You're beating your meat just like your old man used to. And he's like showing him a secret area of the house. This is my masturbatory. It's yours now, son. Just fucking handing him the keys like it's his 16th birthday and he just got a car. Step six. Be understanding and as age appropriate as possible with the discussion. With older children, this talk might lead to more questions about sex and sexuality. So be open to hearing questions and providing honest answers about the acts and your family values surrounding them. With younger children, don't get more intense than they're ready for. Be honest. But keep it simple. For example, you might just say, Touching there is okay, but it's not okay to do that in class or when other people are in the room at home. Do you want to go to your room to take a break and do that? Damn. Has masturbation evolved? Are people doing this in class and in the fucking family room while watching a movie now? This picture is pretty interesting. The mother looks like this kid's head coach of the intramural basketball team and she's on to what he's doing. Look, son, I see you fiddling around down there, jerking your gherkin. How about we go ahead and take a jerk-off break, everyone? All right, go to the locker rooms, do your business, and we'll come back and finish the game. Uh, here we go, the last step of this guide. Step 7. Realize that masturbation is generally normal, but be wary of other signs that something is off. Or should I say, getting off. You know, common stuff. It's a good joke. It's a really good one, actually. If you notice your child masturbates constantly or to the point where they injure themselves, tries to cause other children to masturbate, or if you suspect someone has taught him or her to masturbate, call a, podi a podiatrist, yes, please call the podiatrist, his foot may be in trouble. Call a pediatrician or therapist, as sexual abuse may have occurred somewhere. 
You know, growing up, none of the other kids tried to persuade me to masturbate. There wasn't like a one kid being the lightning rod for the masturbation club recruitment. Yeah, overall, that's just solid advice. Well, now we all know the seven crucial steps to stopping your child from masturbating in public. What else can I find on WikiHow real quick? How to master frustration. I know many of you just read that and thought to yourselves, who could possibly have trouble being frustrated? Well, fuck you. Not everyone's a big shot like you. Some people just can't get frustrated that easily. But luckily this guide will teach you how to be the most frustrated, miserable, sad sack of shit on your block. I can't tell you the number of times one of my friends has just confided in me, look, Charlie, I just can't seem to get frustrated. I'm just not good at it. And then I'll tell them, you know what? Go on WikiHow. It has a perfect guide on how to master it. It'll turn you into the fucking Incredible Hulk. How to look pretty when you're in the fifth grade. This doesn't apply for anyone in the sixth grade or below the fifth grade, but if you're in the fifth grade, this will tell you how to be pretty. How to be a sexy teen girl. It's truly what I've always wanted, so I'm really glad I found this. No more will I have to dress up as a sexy teen girl on Halloween. Thanks to this guide, I can finally actually be a sexy teen girl. So for anyone out there with dreams like mine, it's not too late. We can all still be sexy teen girls. It's right here on WikiHow.